Hello! Welcome to part 2 of this Minecraft thing. Uh, this what kind of started really randomly. I'm thinking about maybe making a Minecraft series, possibly just doing this map and building stuff in it. I, I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll see how this goes and if there's enough views I suppose I'll start making one. Because it could be quite interesting with the, the flatland kind of scenario. There's a lot of things that could go wrong, of course, but I think it'd be quite fun to try out and see what it's like. Because, you know, right now I'm kind of struggling for ideas for making videos. Um, and Minecraft's one of those ones I think you can, because it's a sandbox game, there's a lot of things you could do with it. There's, I mean, there's quite a lot of games I've been thinking about doing, like, I was going to do a Half-Life 2 playthrough, but then I thought, you know, who's going to watch a Half-Life 2 video from, <laughs> but I think that game was 2009, maybe? 2009, 2010? Maybe later. So, uh, I mean, I've got 15 subscribers just now, but, you know, I don't think many people will want to watch it, even from that list of people, from the 15 people that I've got. I don't know if they would want to see that. I don't think I'd be able to attract anyone new, which is what I'm trying to do. I don't know if anyone would come in from that. People who see that video would be quite difficult to get people to come and watch it. Although it would be fun for me, because I do enjoy Half-Life. It's one of my favourite games ever made. Um. I have went a little bit off topic, but you know, it's this is Minecraft here. I'm just gonna get back on. I'm killing the slimes again. I just completely robbed that guy's floor, and I think that's the guy outside with all those slimes. I think he's pissed off, so I hit him back. Because you know, I've, I've, I've stolen all his floorboards, and I'm gonna turn that into something else. We'll see what I turn it into, though. A hell of a lot of slimes, as you can see again, there's like tons of them here just keep coming to this window. And they make the most annoying noise I think ever. It's just, it sounds like someone's playing with a pressure plate and it's, it's quite agitating to listen to. <coughs> Not my first choice. I mean, you see all the experience points I'm getting as well from it. I mean, there's loads of orbs still out there then to go and collect. I'm kind of Still destroying this guy's house. You can see there, everything's gone except the stone because I can't take the stone away. You know, look at all the slime balls there as well. I think at this point I'm going into this building to steal this guy's torch because uh, I don't currently have any at this point. Look at these creepy guys in here sitting around in the dark. It's even darker now that I took his torch away, but you know, that's his problem, not mine. I think this kind of place, obviously it's a it's a village with, you can see there, like a second ago there was crops and stuff grown. So ideally, if I'm going to make a series, then I'll be building something near to where these houses are. Just so that, you know, there's an easy way for me to get crops and stuff, but, you know, I won't be living in the same town. Preferably, the thing I'd build is, like, something on stilts maybe, like a... A big platform and then build from that out of the way or upwards. Either way, you know, it's going to work. It would be quite interesting to watch, I suppose. Obviously, right now it's really dark in the game, so and I don't have a bed, as I explained in the last video anyway. So I need to kind of wait out the night. Although, instead of recording the whole thing, I'm just right about now. Uh, stop the recording and wait a bit. Right here. There we go. Yep, it starts raining so I started recording again. Just because, you know, it looked cool. Well, for some reason it doesn't seem to be showing anything. Ah, there we go. I must have been climbing a ladder. And there's that creepy priest guy, he's still in here, because, you know, it's his house, I don't want to throw him out. 
Not yet, anyway. Not until I start building inside. You see the rain's coming down from the top there. You must be kind of pissed off. That priest there, just thinking, yeah, I built this church, sweating tears and blood and semen. <laughs> um, and he's just, you know, there's a big hole in the roof and it's getting flooded. So just add rainwater to that list of, well, whatever you want to call it. I'm just really jumping around here, trying to wait out the, the night because it's taking forever. And here I skip forward again. It's still raining though. But I've skipped forward and it's starting to get to daylight, as you can see the horizon, which looks really cool. I'd never really noticed it before because usually it's hidden behind the mountains and other crap that's in the game. It actually does look pretty cool. I'd never, I'd never actually noticed it before. You see, like, and sometimes when you're playing, you see little bits of it, and you see it like when you look right up. But it's usually a block in the way, so it is nice to look at. Because Minecraft is quite a good, it's a good looking game for the kind of graphics it uses, and it really surprises me sometimes how well, well, how good it looks. Compared to some other games, then it's actually really good. Now don't ask me to list off games here, because I, I won't be able to do it off the top of my head, but, you know, from experience, I have played games. Well, one example would be the first Operation Flashpoint on the original Xbox, but, you know, that's gone back quite a bit in time. That was game was awesome, I loved that game, but it looked terrible, and everyone hated it. All my friends hated it, because it looked crap. But nah, I stuck with it because you could play with a mission editor, which is what I do with the Arma 2 videos because Arma 2 is that kind of game and it's the, well you could call it the true sequel to that game I suppose. Getting off topic again, although it's nice to not be talking about the one thing constantly. There's not very much happening in this video so it's, yeah it's quite a good idea to be getting off topic. Obviously it's starting to get daylight now so I can, I'm actually right now trying to find sheep or something so I can make a bed but no, I don't really find anyone. And that guy pissed me off, so I hit him. He deserved it. Don't ever let him tell you he didn't, because he did. Running across this open field again, just hoping to find something. I probably should have cut this bit out, but nah, no thanks. I like to keep most, or if not all, of the gameplay I've recorded in, as long as the gameplay is good. Or if there's something in it. But I could talk over this bit anyway. Although there's not much to say, there is a lot I can think of. I'm well, obviously looking for a new village right now. And there you go, you see a one coming up there. A oh, slime there as well, just the, the one random slime. Here, this village, actually, it's a lot bigger than it looks from there. Because when I get closer to it, you see that there's... You know, there's another village off to its left, which should spawn just about now. But it hasn't. Yeah, there's the. It spawned there, and there's. Behind that village I'm pointing at right now, there is another one, or it's just more buildings. But there's a lot of buildings, and a lot of things you can take from it. Especially if you're looking for wood and stone, and, you know, you can get it quite easily from there. Although, obviously, the fact that there's. A bigger village obviously means there's going to be more slimes. Not for the reason that slimes spawn there or anything, it's just like I think they get trapped when they come towards it, or when they spawn and get trapped there. More creepy guys. There always seems to be two guys in that set of houses. You know, that kind of house there has two people in it. There's always a creepy guy somewhere. So hit him away. Another library house, like you can see what I was saying about the last video. Everything looks the same. Everything is exactly the same in these buildings. That library building is the same every time over. There's nothing different about it. It would be nice if there was something different, but there isn't. And here I'm trying to build... What I thought I could do was build a slime block, but I couldn't. So I was quite disappointed. Look how speedy that is there, like collecting the slime balls back again. You had never seen nothing as fast as that, and you never will. Except from here. What I like though is the way they've designed the village there, like you see they've got torches and stuff built up like lampposts, which is pretty cool. Com you know, a lot, of, a lot of things in it that they look pretty cool. 
I mean, the houses themselves are pretty cool looking as well. And <laughs> there's a creeper in that house. How he spawned in the house, I have no idea. But, you know, that's maybe just the fact that it's raining and it's, you know, it spawned that house with the creeper spawning inside. There's a zombie somewhere else as well, but I can't actually see him and have no idea where he is. And you just hear that annoying noise from the, the slimes, I hate them. I block up the doorway anyway just so I can get in here and don't get hassled by them. I find quite a lot of stuff here, some more gold as well. A hell of a lot of gold. What I'm going to use it for I have no idea because I don't really use gold. I don't make gold armor or gold weapons because they're useless. Well, let me know what you think. If you want to see a series, just let me know.